around September and Sunday. Well, why not? Overnight tonight, it'll certainly stay dry and clear for the most part. Not quite as chilly as last night, but just like last night, there will be some patches of mist and fog around. Certainly a beautiful evening out there, staying fine and clear for the most part. A little bit more cloud across Shetland, the odd spot of rain, perhaps a bit more cloud down across the Isles of Scilly also. But elsewhere, it will be dry. As I mentioned, not uh, quite as chilly as last night, but even though temperatures will drop down to single figures through parts of Scotland. Now, eastern Scotland, the Vale of York and through the Welsh marches, that's where it could start off misty, even one or two dense fog patches, which could take a time to clear away. But then most places will have another fine and sunny day. For the west, however, a slightly different story. More clouds certainly for Northern Ireland. And at times here, there could just be a little bit of rain pushing in across the north coast and into the west. Certainly some of that rain getting into the western Isles of Scotland come the afternoon. Most of the mainland of Scotland, though, staying dry with some sunshine. 21 in Glasgow, that's 70 Fahrenheit. Once the mist and fog has cleared from the Vale of York, northern England bathed in sunshine for the afternoon. Certainly plenty of sunshine across East Anglia, down through the southeast of England. A bit warmer as well tomorrow, 26 Celsius in London, 25 in Birmingham. Fine for the last one-day international England against Pakistan. Fine and sunny for the west country, but for western parts of Cornwall, there will be a little bit more cloud here. That could also affect the parts of Pembrokeshire, but most of Wales, again, bathed in sunshine. Now, the sunshine will still be around on Monday across central and eastern areas. 